Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here again today with another pond stocking. Ooh, with another pond stocking video. Hey, Peter. Muffin's old, dude. Old muffin? Yeah, don't taste the best. Hey, what are we doing today? Pond stocking, gup gups, mosquito fish, and crawfish. All got, all got different Okay, names. okay. So we have already stocked the pond with bluegill and bass and some crawdads. Today it's about bait and structure. We gotta put more structure in the pond and we gotta get bait. Bait is very important in a pond like this because without bait you will not have good fish and you will not have big fish or many of them. So let's hop in the truck and let's go to the first pond and see if we can't catch some guppies. I think today should be a fun day. What you thinking? I'm excited, dude. You excited? Let's go get some bait. Let's go get some bait. Get some bait for a fish. Bait. I'm gonna be a master baiter. Well, boys, we got on the muck boots now because we have arrived to the first destination. Now we're going down. Hey, let's start upstream. I would. Oh, downstream's where we need to start. So what we're doing here is we're gonna try to get some crawfish. Wow, that's a cool little structure right there. <laughs> Interesting. Let's just see if we can't find any crawfish. Hopefully they're down in here because it is some bass candy. I tell you what. Do what? There's some fish in here. You see some fish? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just away. Like little, little guppies? Little bull, bull, bull headed creek chub, gup gups, everything. Gup gups. Yeah, let's uh let's just let's just go ahead and jump in this creek and see what we can pull out. Oh, let's jump on down here into the creek. Walk on across. Yo, these rocks are slick. I hear him, he's already flipping rocks. So what we're doing, we're actually just flipping rocks. Seeing if we can't find our first crawfish. We'll give this about 10 minutes. If we don't find one, we'll head out. This creek is so big and there's so many rocks, they can be literally anywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought those were big ass squirrels. I did not realize they were dogs. What the hell is that? Piece of pottery. Oh my God, I found ancient pottery. Look at that, guys. I bet that's from like the 50s. <laughs> okay, now that I have soaked my feet, let's go put on my fresh shoes. I'm over it. Since the creek didn't produce anything, I didn't think I'd bore you guys with that footage. Hey, Peter, what are you doing? We're crawfish. You think we caught them all yesterday? Warm out. There's no more. Warm out. Warm slap out. Worth a try, though, man. Now we actually came here yesterday, wore out some bluegill and crawfish. Yeah, we're going for the smaller stuff today. We seen a bunch of guppies out here the other day, so see if we can't get on them. Are you seeing any guppy gup? Not yet, but in that back any, corner. Any guppy guppies? We will. In that back corner. They like structure, dude. They like they like to hold up and. Shallow spot. Or they're gonna get got. I feel like we're stalking them. Peter over here is the guppy master. So I'm putting him on guppy duty. Look at them all. There's all the gup cups. First gup cup. You, you got one. <laughs> I, gonna, think, I think we're gonna need a, a lot more than uh, one. We're gonna get him, dude. That was just a little shallow grab. A little shallow grab. He's cute though. <laughs> Throw him in the bucket. You on water duty. Why am I on everything duty? Oh. Dude, big old. Oh, that's exactly what we're after right there, boys. Gup gups. Big old gup gups. Throw them in the bucket. <laughs> All right, hand me the net. Let me show you how it's done. You give, hand me the dirty net, son. Two more. We're going to be here all day. I feel like I'd rather just pay some little kid to come do this for me. I can't even see him. I got muck boots. We can. Go. Oh, look at those. There we go. I got muck boots. You can put them on and we can, you can actually walk out there another two feet. What is that thing? Is that a prey mantis? Yeah. I feel like I'm an eight-year-old again out here with this little dip nut. Bluegill gotta have something to eat. I have yet to cop up guppy, guys. Time for the muck boots. Uh, all right, boys, let's get after it. I ain't seeing anything now. Yep, I officially suck at this, boys. Oh, gosh, it's muddy. Oh, Peter over here, he's pulling them out left and right. Why is there... Ah! <laughs> I got bees chasing me. If I stand here long enough, they'll come to me. I've yet to catch one. Oh yeah, there's a monster. I got a monster. Look at this. Look at this big dude. It's not a monster. Got my first one, boys. We're moving up in society. Yeah, there's some big ones out there. How many have you got? Over 30. Over 30 already? I've caught one of those 30. 31, baby. Let's go. I wonder if they're bringing a... I don't think the cast net will pick them up. I gotta catch a few, because you're straight slaying them. Heck yeah, I can see them flopping from here. Hey, slowly but surely. We're gonna get there, dude. I did this with my pond. It took me about an hour, but I got over 300, so. Dang. I'm not a huge fan of this whole net and minnows thing. I did bring the cast net, so I might throw the cast net a couple times and fill that bucket up with little bluegill and stuff. All right, new tactic. I'm gonna wait for them to come to me. There's a big one right on the bank right here. Thought he'd come back. There's one. Pretty good size. About like that. A little bit smaller. 
yeah. Right there, boys. There's my first decent one. Dude, when they're pregnant, they lay like 30 little babies. I see you. Well, these fish aren't too dumb. They know I'm here. You think we got enough? Yeah, we got a bunch. <laughs> That's a chunk. You can put them on a hook and catch a fish. Hell yeah. Well, boys, we got about 40 or 50 or so. We're going to go up here, throw the cast net. We'll get a bunch of good, big stuff. Run straight to the pond and release these bad boys. Then we got to do structure. That'll be next. All right, let's do something I'm a little better at. Let's grab this cast net and go to work. All right, boys, we're going to go ahead and throw the cast net one good time. We're just going to throw it once. I don't want to get too wet throwing this bad boy. And uh, we'll see what we can pull out real quick. Hopefully some bluegills, dude. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for bluegill. I think that got some. Oh, there's, I'm getting hung up. Those aren't even bluegill. Oh, uh, no, they're not. All right, well, throw those back. Not what we want. Well, uh... Oh gosh, it was it was worth a shot. Nothing came out of here. Let's uh, go ahead and throw the third net back up and uh, head to Garrett's Pond, release these fish, and build some more structure. Well, boys, time to head to the fish compound. Let's let's go get it. Oh man, you got the minnows, man. I got the little gup gups. Got the gup gups. We're here at the pond, boys. This is the pond. If you guys have not seen it yet, we did a little bit of more brush from that tree. We're gonna try to cut this a lot of this tree away from the field. Uh, do a little favor for the landowners. Put it out in the pond and structure for the fish. Uh, there's the gup gups. You see Tic Tac? I'm looking for it, dude. Tic Tac is a big 20 pound. That's what, like 30, we got it wrong. We said 22, 26 inches, but that fish is at least like 38. I, we were so wrong, but it was like in the moment, you know. But I mean, it's a 20 to 25 pound koi, big orange koi, insane. No fish are floating, so all the fish are doing good. I do not see Tic Tac though. Yes, we named this koi Tic Tac, big orange Tic Tac. Where's Tic Tac? We put all we put all this structure in as well. I can see some fish. The other day when we were here, the first time we came here, we seen nothing popping on the surface, but we're starting to see fish hit the surface. It's looking good. I don't see Tic Tac, bro. I'm so disappointed. Oh, there's a little bust right there in that dude. structure we put down <laughs> yesterday. There's another one. I love this, man. It's the bluegill popping, dude. Yep, the bluegill are popping. All right, man, you ready? I am ready, dude. We have our little gup gups right here. Got what, like 40, 50? 40 to 60, man. I mean, there's a good amount. Look, look at all of them up top. <laughs> Heck yeah, let's release some things. There's a lot of them, dude. Bye bye. Enjoy your new home. Every single one comes floating to the top. We didn't get as many <laughs> as we want, but like that food right there, y'all, that's a week's. Look at all of them. You can see all of them go. Oh, yeah, there they go. There they go. They're popping and shit. That's look at them swimming off. Look at them swimming off. That's at least two weeks of food for these bluegill and the bass, and we caught some. There's a frog right here. We caught some fat ones that were pregnant. So I mean, once they once they reproduce, oh, dude, some, one just got eaten. I swear what? To God, I'm what? not even joking, dude. One literally just got eaten. Dude. <laughs> it was a big squirrel when he was up the top. Oh my! We did it right. <laughs> no. That was supposed to go in the bank. Yeah, that was close enough. We can still grab it. The gup gups are already getting ate, y'all. We are hoping to one day hand feed these fish. Oh, let's grab the Zolzol out of here, boys. Let's get to work on cutting this tree down right here. It's going for all the limbs and stuff for structure. It's going to be great. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but that's a big piece we cut down yesterday. We took a few limbs off this tree real quick and simple. Here's what we got. We'll use all this for structure. Kind of needed a cameraman today, but uh, oh, Miller, he wanted to go home. So we'll do it by ourselves. That's, that's, that's just how it's going to be. Where, where do you think we should put this next structure at? We got a bunch of structure over there and some right yeah. here. This pile is good, man. That whole back corner is pretty shallow. This is We could run another one off right here. I so show we swam back and forth when we saw her, dude. So. Yeah, always right through here. We can add to that one that's already kind of started. Yeah. And then maybe one kind of shallow next. I don't know, man. It's up to you, bro. I'm thinking one right there for sure. One right there, y'all. Yeah, we put this structure in yesterday right here, and there's already fish in here, so that's dope.
Ladies and gentlemen, we got that structure in. We got the other structure over there. All that structure, it's looking good. I think the next video, we might have to come here and try to bass fish it. Like, no cap. The pond is absolutely looking beautiful, y'all. I am loving it. This is gonna be a great place to fish. I cannot wait. Maybe come in here and just wear out the bluegill. Who knows, we'll see. I do know one thing I'm absolutely loving, these pond building videos. And you guys seem to be enjoying them as well. Cannot wait to start fishing this place. I'm thinking a lot more bait, okay? A lot more minnows, a lot more guppies. Plus a couple more bass in here, maybe another five, and maybe another 30 bluegill, and just try to grow them from there. Peter, what do you think about the pond? It's, it's taken a while, dude, but piecing it together little by little, this thing is, it, I mean, it's starting to look really good, dude. Oh it's, yeah, for it's sure. It's getting there. It's definitely looking a lot better than when we first came here and looked at it. I Don't think about think? the future, man. Like one day we could be on this bank petting a five pound bass. <laughs> Holding Tic Tac again. Holding Tic Tac. Hold Tic Tac. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. I know catching minnows isn't the most exciting thing. We didn't have the nets for it. It did not work as good as we were hoping, but we did get 30 or 40 uh good size minnows now uh, if you guys want to see more pond videos please like and subscribe go down in the comments if you guys want to see more pond videos i'll definitely do them this has been a whole lot of fun working on this thing also everybody go check out peter's channel links in the description lipping at lipping bass tv lipping bass tv down in the description box below he's got one more day with us one more day we're going Saturday. catfishing tomorrow going catfishing Pumped tomorrow about that dude old old river fishing <laughs> go see if we can't find those 40s we've been looking for but uh please like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next one